Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time was dedicated to exploring around all the worlds to check on the mushrooms as best as I could. I am still upset that I wasn't able to get some of them to spawn. And finishing up our synthesis list, giving us access to that little staff over there for Donald. Goofy has a new shield, which he is not showing right now. And most important of all, the Ultima Weapon Keyblade. And today, we're going to put this thing to a bit of a test. Now, there's, like I said, three main things left to do. One of them is this guy right here. But I think I want to take care of the missing stuff in the Hades Cup first. So, we're going to start by doing the solo Hades Cup. And this is going to basically be the exact same thing as, you know, what we've already done. Just, it's going to be somewhere by himself. So, probably going to end up skipping a lot of it. But, good lord. If I can hit these doggons, there we go. The soldiers did not want to get hit. Yeah, everything in here is going to die in like one hit, two tops. I mean, they already kind of were before, but now we have way more reach and better magic, too. But yeah, we'll just... Some of these fights, I'm sure, are going to be of interest, mainly the bosses. But as far as the random people, it's not going to be anything. Also, I don't think I ever actually showcased Come on. that that's the ripple drive the attack the finishing attack that's based on your mana so it's actually got a good area similar to stun impact in other words i like it a lot anyways yeah let's we'll see you at the first battle of interest shall we say all right first first quote-unquote boss we've got yuffie let's see how fast she dies as soon as i can actually hit her that's the tricky part is getting in to hit you. And it is really wanting to trigger a ripple drive. Kind of hoping it would trigger a stun impact for me. Okay, she's powering up her shuriken. Ooh. Ow. Okay, that shuriken is kind of annoying. Or at least it was before it disappeared on me. And that's it for Yuffie. Nothing to it. Pretty straightforward. All right, next major encounter. The Cerberus, I believe? No, it's the Behemoth. Okay, I thought it was the Cerberus. Okay. So we just gotta fight a Behemoth all by our lonesome. Honestly, this isn't really going to change too much. But they're a bit of a special Heartless. So, what the heck? Yeah, still just stand on his back and wail on the horn. But he's already down over a full health bar. He hasn't even gone down yet. I guess that means that, like, I wasn't sure if the whole thing with the horn was, is it based on how much damage he takes or how many hits it takes? And it seems like it's the latter based on that fact. Come on. Um, yeah, because he's only just now getting to knock down his first time. So I guess it's based entirely on hit count. Oh. Yep, do your thing. I actually want to try and just... Ah, that didn't work well, I would hope it would. I was hoping that the lasers wouldn't explode on his torso and just actually head it towards the horn. But I guess that was wishful thinking on my part. Ah, that was a, an unfortunate waste of mana. Ooh. And getting hit there was my own dang fault. Alright, come on. Oh, I thought he was falling down for a second. Oh! I don't think I've ever seen them jump like that. Or if I have, I'd forgotten. They never definitely hadn't done it while I while it was on his back like that, though. Okay, yeah, now you're down. I kinda missed it. And it kinda cost me a good opening to strike him. You know, it is kinda funny with how big and imposing these things are and how late you encounter them. Just how easy they actually are. Like, the Behemoth cannot do much of anything to you while you're on his back. He's such a non-threat. 
Like, the only time I got hurt there was from me being stupid. Oh, yeah. Sora just learned Critical Plus from that. And now I think it's Cerberus time. Sure enough. Just open with a Ragnarok. Oh, that gets a lot of damage. Oh, that was beautiful. Good. So, yeah. Cerberus is the first encounter that I have any nerves about with fighting alone. But. At the same time, it's not really all that big deal. Honestly, I think the only boss that I'm actually, like, truly scared of is probably Hades. But Cerberus can be a threat if you're not careful, even with the massive amount of damage we're dealing. Could try another Ragnarok, but I kind of don't want to use up too much of my mana as well. Because that. Because that. Ow. He's <sighs> trying to actually dodge there. Okay, he's done biting. And we're going back to the darkness. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot. Okay. Whew! Made it out of there. Back to beating his face. And he's down. Not without a few cuts and bruises. Nothing to it. All right, Cloud and Leon. I think, it's as over. usual, we are going to play with Leon first. It's over. Oh. Fortunately, I don't have distractions for Cloud. So he is going to be a big problem. While I'm dealing with Leon, mainly. That's the best you can do? I'm not even fighting you yet, Cloud. I'm dealing with Leon over here. Don't start taunting me. Alright. Unfortunately, right now, Ripple Drive is kind of acting as a negative. Because it hits for less than my regular attacks. Individually, especially with my mana being so low right now. At least I think it's based on my... I forget, is it based on my current mana or my max mana? It might be based on my max, I don't know. But either way, whether it's based on that or not, it is technically doing less damage... There we go. ...than my regular attacks. So it, it actually kind of works against me in boss fights. Something I'll have to keep in mind... ...going forward. I think I should have focused on Cloud first, actually, because I think he had less health than Eon. Okay, you're doing this. Give you my best shot, you say. Very well, then. Ow. Got him. All right. Time for the fight that I'm afraid of. Hades. Gonna have to put a heavier emphasis on avoiding him, especially when he's doing this. No, 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 no. Dang it. Alright. Okay, he feels the heat. This. Still still not sure the best way to deal with that. Freaking feel the heat move. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, isn't it possible to like that? Like that? Maybe I should risk it. Oh, well, I finally can see his health bar, at least. That's it. Yeah, let's not risk it. Let's just That's it. dodge it and get in there with the opening I get. Yeah. Feel the 
Feel the heat. Ah, always go the other direction than I expect. Oh boy. I am having fun, Hades. How about you? But I've still got some items. Starting to get warmed up here. Oh, ooh. Get away from me with your hot hands. Yeah. Hey, starting to get warmed up here. You're starting to get warmed up here, huh? Then why? Okay, I'm about to say, why are you so cold looking right now? Because you have your blue hair. Wait a minute. I wonder. Hey, you having fun yet? I think I just now realized what I'm doing wrong with that attack. And I'm going to need another opportunity to test it out. That's it. To see if I'm right. That's it. Although I would welcome not getting that opportunity because of beating him. No, I'm gonna get that opportunity for sure. Whoa! I want to ouch get that. Nice try with your fire guns. Whoop! Feel the heat? Feel the heat. Feel the heat. Okay. Let's see if I'm right and I'm just an idiot. I am. I shouldn't be trying to dodge at my gliding. I should be trying to dodge at my dodge roll. Good lord, that's so much easier. I was doing this the stupid way then. Well, at least now I know better. And Hades is dead. Which means I just got to make it through the rest of the tournament and beat the Rock Titan, which I don't think is going to be that hard. All right. It is now time for the Titan of Rocks. Expecting this to be quick and easy. <laughs> Rock Titan, as mentioned before, is not a big threat. He's just big. But he's so slow, he is not going to kill me. All right, he fell over. I hope I can actually get up to his doggone head. All right, let's get to where I can hit him with the back swings. Yeah, yeah. Grouse and grumble at me all you want, big boy. I am smacking both of your heads until you knock me off. This is going so quick. All right, we lost the footing on his shoulders. So now it's time to make him lose his footing. Ah, he actually got a hit off on me. Honestly, I didn't realize that's what he was doing. But now I know to look for it. Up, down he goes. Back to hitting him in the face. And his other face. Sorry, buddy. You ain't no Ice Titan in terms of strength. There we go. Yeah, Ice Titan is way tougher. Couple more swings. And he's done. No big deal. So, what is our prize for beating this alone? Save the Queen. Another staff for Donald. And if we compare it to the Fantasista, you can see it's kind of better except one less mana. This is basically the perfect middle ground between high power and high magic. Honestly, that is a pretty big boost. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for it because that is a big boost to his strength. So his physical attacks are going to do a lot without sacrificing nearly as much mana as the Meteor Strike gives. I like it. 
All right, but now for the real challenge. Time limit. How long do I have to do this? 20 minutes, oh boy. Well, let's get started. That was the quickest rock titan ever. <laughs> Nothing to it. Okay, and with that, we get Goofy's next final weapon. Save the king! I don't know why I said next final weapon, but yes. Save the king. A royally powerful shield that ma raises max MP by two. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, this this kind of fits the same objective as Save the Queen, where it's a middle ground between the synthesis one and the other one. And I think I'm gonna go with that too. So now they've got their Hades tournament weapons and we've got our synthesis ultimate keyblade because there really is nothing better in general. So, yeah, I've been going for a bit, <laughs> but obviously, not sure how much of that's gonna end up in use, so I'm still gonna keep going a bit. Also, while we were in there, Sora did gain access to Vortex. Close the distance here by enemies with this powerful spinning attack. I will take that, and I will also cut that critical plus that we got earlier, too. Um, you know what I wanna do now? I wanna get a couple of gummy ship missions done. And you know what? We also need to check the Neverland Clock Tower, so I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Using 100 more gunny blocks, set off from the Coliseum, and arrive in Neverland without taking any damage. What do you know? We're already at the Coliseum, too. Okay, so I need to get a ship with 100 or more blocks. How many blocks does, uh... How many blocks does... Rochambeau! We'll use Rochambeau. Actually, maybe I should use the slow Shambo. Um, let's go with the regular old Rochambeau. So it's got a hundred or more blocks, and it's just take no damage, right? Yes, just no taking damage. I can still use a shield and everything. So, I want to turn right when I leave this. When I leave the worm. And that should take me where I need to go. Already getting a couple of hits here and there. But it's all on the shield, so it's fine. Oh, and this path has these, so 
I'm really fine then. Because I can just recharge my shield with the blue pants. Alright, there's our warp hole. There's our exit. And remember to hang a right past here. Alright, let's blast a bit. There we go. I wouldn't mind getting to where I can get. Yeah, let's just try hasting here. I think this is a good spot to haste. Get through some of this a little bit quicker. Still haven't actually taken any damage to my armor. Keep going. It's gonna be a little bit before we get to the uh, the exit of the warp hole, I think. straightforward. Our ship is destroying everything under the sun. And there's plenty of recharges for both shields and energy. So, we're still unscathed. Alright. Turning to the right. Yep. The castle walls are on our right side. They were on our left when we went from Neverland to Hollow Bastion, so I did do this right. The question is, how far do I have to get? Oh, right, that thing was going to slant out of the way. Well, I messed up and got hit by it. Got at least one more zone to get through, it would seem. Well, at least we're getting some more meteors with the special uh, drops in them. That's always nice. Those are just full, full restores, effectively. There it is! Neverland! There we go! to the clock tower. So, what is the next one? I believe we were at the sixth door before. So this should be the seventh door, so we haven't missed any more? The eighth door. I think I missed another one. Oh, got it. Pretty sure that I've missed two of these. Try to be careful so that I didn't miss any. Oh, well. So... What's the last one for this? Using 10 or fewer, set off from Olympus and destroy 777 or more obstacles. Oh, I see. How delightful. Well, this is gonna be fun. Uh, how many blocks are on the Minyish? Ten. It has ten. But they're all the same thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change up the weapons. Uh, well, first of all, let's give it the right color because I care about that. I'm gonna get rid of four of these. Put on two Ultimas. And two Thunders. 
just since the thunders have, um, you know, a faster rate of fire, I think I'll be good for some of the smaller things. Keep everything else as is on the minish. And you know what? Because it has the transform into the minish, minish, we need to give it some weapons too. So this one, I'm gonna kit out a little differently. Give it four Ultimas and just two Thundagas. We'll see how that goes. All right, Minish over right. Yep, they both got 10. They can transform into each other. They got haste, they have one engine. Let's give it a roll. Luckily, I am allowed to break and deal, uh, um, and I, I take damage. Although, maybe I should have put a shield gummy on. Well, anyways, the objective was to destroy, what was it, 777 obstacles? It's gonna be a lot of obstacles. Turns out, uh, having four Ultimas makes this really freaking easy. Like, wow, that was easy. And that just leaves me with two more worlds left to finish gummy ship missions for. Also, how much time do I have left until the next door opens in the clock tower? About 15 minutes, it seems. But it should just be on like every hour on the hour. Hmm. Screw it. Let's do another set of, uh, let's do another gummy mission or two. I think I should still have enough time to do that right now. So, Atlantica and Holobastia. What do we got for Atlantica? Keep all obstacles intact and obtain a score of, oh no, I do not understand what I'm gonna do for this one. Uh, you know what, because I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do with that one, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go with the slow shambo and leave it as is. But I'm gonna make it basically be my objective to only use the thunders and hit ships. Can't, can't count on Ultimas to not just destroy everything in the universe. Get a score of or your higher. Uh, I mean, I guess I could equip this thing out with um, Comet instead of Ultima. So far, 
we still haven't destroyed any obstacles, which is good. We're getting close to the halfway point in points. Ooh, good! Large number of weak ships coming. Thankfully, everything basically is worth two points if you get the drops from it. One point for destroying the thing, one point for the drop. I'm not a fan of these stupid ships that keep flying into me, though. Those weird, dark looking things. I kill one? killed one, but I think it might have cost me more in the long run, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to ignore them for now. And I can't destroy any obstacles, so I gotta be careful here. Duck! I almost did it! I almost did it outright! Well, at least that means I know I can do it. I just got to be really careful around those blue meteors. Because those things die after just like a couple of shots from a thunder. Shatter no meteorites. Okay. Break the icy things, whatever they are. Those guys. Yeah. Break those. Also, there's all of those parts in. Yeah, I got a couple of blueprints there. That's nice. All right, I only need 34 more points. It's not gonna kill you. You guys can just fly past me. All right, here's where I blew it before. Let's do this. There we go. All right, well, these guys are gonna cause me some pain. Not much I can do about this. Okay, that's a problem. All right, hang on. Let me, uh... I need to add something. Because clearly that's that's going to get me killed if I don't do something about it. We need a transformer gummy. Uh, I'll just that Slow Shambo. Wait. Ah, crud. I messed up. I edited the Rochambo and saved it as the Slow Shambo. So hang on. I need overwrite Rochambo. And then I gotta fix the Slow Shambo. This is required. There we 
go. And I messed up the design. I must fix it. It will be fixed. Where's that part? This guy. Up, up. And shoot. Yes, I'm still leaving the holes where the engines are in because that's how I made it before. And now, uh, gummy ship. Transform. Rochambeau and slow shambo. Perfect. Third time's the charm. Let's go. I probably should have done what I said I should have done before and switched up the ultimates for, uh, for comments. Oh well. Too little, too late. I already broke a thing. Alright, you know what? Fine. I'm gonna take this opportunity to make that change then. Because I already broke a thing. Oh boy. Slow Shambo. I'm only gonna make the change on the slow Shambo though, not the Ro Shambo. Ro Shambo keeps the ultimates. Couldn't attach another one. Oh well. Yep, we'll leave it at that. There. Now, let's see if I can actually use my lasers to get a couple extra kills so that way when I get towards those last parts. Okay, hold on. I, I was hitting the wrong buttons and I already messed up. That might that might seem weird, but no. I that trust me. Oh my lord, I'm already missing so many of them. Okay, ignore the ones at the bottom right. That's the bottom line. Where right, I can get some of them. There we go. And I broke a thing. Ah! Driving myself crazy. Okay, I'll take what I got. Very thankful right now that the uh, Mandagas are such low range. Because I feel like this would be way harder if it wasn't the case. Oh, I just got that. Uh, those annoying ship blueprints. That's pretty nice. Honestly, just because of that, I'm gonna make absolutely sure I bake it to the end for this run. I already blew it! Doggone it! Okay. I'm just gonna get to the end of this so that way I get the blueprint. I guess I'll practice on the way to see what else there is beyond uh, the spot where I died before. So it turns out there's a lot after that spot where I died before. And this is not going to be as hard as I thought as long as I don't mess up her. So we're going to give this another go. And by then, the clock tower door, should, next clock tower door should be open. All will be right with the world. Got it! My finger let go of the right trigger a little too soon.
All right. Made it here with 225. I could have had all 240 if I didn't mess up one spot, but... Why didn't it transform when I was trying to tell it to? Why isn't it transforming? Oh, because I need power. I don't have any power. Oh, crap. That's not good. Well, this is going to be a little rough. Get those last two. Okay. I got the 240. Now I just got to survive. Ouch, ouch. Please don't die, little sheep. Please don't die. Oh, one more hit and I'm done. Oh, thank goodness. Made it. All right. I think that's enough for one day. I'm going to go back to Neverland and open the door that has definitely opened by now. And then that's going to be it. Let us open the next door. There you are. The nine door opened. Orichalcum. Well, that's useless to me now. <laughs> oh, well. Honestly, I'm not really getting anything of, like, super importance out of these doors. I'm just opening them for fun by now. I'm going to use the defense up there and an AP up that I forgot I had. And I think that's going to do it. So, I've still got a couple more gummy ship missions to do. Specifically, four, it looks like. And we've still got a tournament and one more thing after that before we end, before we head off to the end. So, next time on Kingdom Hearts, we're going to the last objective of the Colosseum. I am terrified. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.